Okay, great. So let us start with today's session. As everybody of you are aware, this demo is for F5 LTA. Okay. And when I am saying F5, F5 Networks is the company name. Those who are very new, thus only for those like we have Cisco, like we have Polo Alto and other vendors. We have one of the vendor named as F5 Networks. When I'm saying LTM, full form of LTM is local traffic manager. Okay. And before going to the discuss about the LTM, because we have a lot of things today to discuss about LTM, I would like to say you something. Every company has different, different product suit. Okay. Like Cisco, deal in networking, deal in security, deal in cloud, deal in ACI, data center, lot of things, right? Similarly, F5 also have different, different product suits. One of the product suit is named as Big IP. Okay. So Big IP is one of the product suit of F5 networks. When we are talking about Big IP, Big IP is nothing, a product suit of F5 networks. And out of Big IP, we have different modules available. Okay. So just for your information, those who are very new, this is, I am saying your product suit. And there are different, different modules available. Modules like what? Modules like LTM, like GTM, like TSM, like APM, like AFM, ARM, and lot other. Okay. But in market, if you will ask me, maximum products which are on the peak, this side which I am highlighting along with DPM. Highly in demand, highly in demand, literally. So if you are going for any kind of interview, if you are going for maybe, you know, to handle the data center, it cannot be the case that you are not going to any of the ADC or maybe I will say load balancer in general term. Okay. I will come to the ADC, what the ADC is. Don't worry. But currently I will say that it can't be the case that any company don't have any load balancer. It There would be maximum case F5 or Citrix, but yeah, F5 is in the demand, highly demand. Okay. So, so far, uh, Abhishek, because you joined late, just FII, we just discussed that what is F5 is, F5 is a company, then products should big IP and big IP has different modules like LTM, GTM, ASM, APM, RM, ASM. Today, we will be going to talk about LTM module. Okay. Our whole focus would be on LTM. Now, <clears throat> different people have different type of questions about the LTM because we are not aware. We only heard about that. Okay. LTM means I need to talk about load balancing. Okay. Please be noted. F5 don't like it. F5 says don't say our product as a load balancer. It is not only traditional load balancer, but it is more, more, more than that. What is that? Probably I would try to give a, you know, look upon that. I will try to give a glimpse of each and every, you know, uh, what to say, uh, topics. But yeah, it's literally not a load balancer. And that is the reason they people say it is an ADC. Which means application. Like, see, everything is application driven currently in today's world, right? Either you have some applications or the websites or whatever you say. Okay, every, every almost project or every almost business is going towards the digitalization. And for the digitalization, you should have the websites or the application. And for the application, you, you must be have the load balancer, must be have the load balancer if you have a very good, you know, uh, data, uh, like client database, I would say. So application delivery control it means application delivery control uh, i would like to take a break over here uh, before proceeding further i just wanted to know who 
in this class is having the problem to understand in hindi yes sir i'm, I'm not comfortable with hindi you are not comfortable okay then i will go with the english only otherwise i could start with in hindi it's all right ram thank you so i was talking about adc adc is application delivery controller now let me proceed it up with some of the slides also because first time when you are watching it probably you would like to see the slides let give me a minute let me open a slide okay so that i can show you a couple of more things for the fidlg okay my screen is visible to everybody yes or no Yes. 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 Sir. Okay. Let me proceed. So now you guys able to understand. F I means the company name. L T means one of the module. Okay. A D C means application delivery controller. So when I am saying F five, it means F five big I P L T. And I can say in the bracket it is an A D C. Okay. What it does. if in a very layman term i will say ltm is a reliable secure optimized way to deliver your applications okay so that is something in a very layman term i can explain about ltm so whenever you have the flexibility that your application should be up always you cannot go with one server or let me give you an example probably with an example you would be able to understand in more efficient way okay so let me just quickly give you an example let us take an example of google fb or whatever application you are using in day to day life amazon or whatever you say okay what what you think about there are lot of lot of user database okay there are lot of user database is a single server able to handle all of the uh, all of the users from throughout the globe no never it means we okay for this actually i need to talk about gtm also like there is one more thing that gtm also reside in between but i will not go to the gtm part yet okay i will talk about a single data center or about a single country you can say or you can say about a single region i will touch currently because we are touching the uh, data center only okay now let us say there is there is lot of users which is coming in they can go to the server 1 they can go to the server 2 they can go to the server 3 they can go to the server 4 who decided to which server it needs to be go like which request will go to the uh, what kind of server before that we need to put in one more device okay in our case because we are going with the f5 i am talking about the adc so i will say f5 ltm is placed in between client and it between your backend servers but let me tell you logically i am defining these things if you will ask me that okay radha sir is the only ltm in between no there can be your home router okay after home router you are connecting with the isp after the isp through the sd wan through the internet through the uh, vpn or and any mode of connectivity you have you are going into the data center okay let us say you are uh, you wanted to go to some of the website like www.xyz.com okay so if you wanted to go there you will be uh, going into the data center after data center they must have some kind of firewall okay after firewall you will be having ltm okay apart from ltm there is one more module those who are aware about it well and good those who are not aware about it it's all right in the layman term i will say asm is one more module okay this is nothing but it secure the application which are working on layer 7 infra or layer 7 application will be get uh, mitigated those kind of vulnerability will be get mitigated on the asm level but it's all right we will exclude this part let us come with the ltm only after ltm there would be some kind of switch or some kind of connectivity which are connecting with different different 
web server let us say free web server in our case okay it can be more or less depending upon application traffic or depending upon how many user database you have so this is purely your data center okay dc dc of the application or the website xyz.com similarly any website you say facebook google any they have their separate data center and in data center there would be some kind of lb lb solution would be there for sure okay so it is very important component when we are talking about such kind of digitalization world we cannot skip it now thing is when client will go to xyz.com client is not aware about the server at all client is not aware that if there is server one server two server three how many servers are hosting no client is aware about only one ip let us say if there is an ip 1.1.1.1 it will be going where on the firewall from firewall there would be a netted rule okay ideally like how the connection will happen probably i am trying to explain you guys um i just wanted to know one thing anybody who is very new to the network or who is not aware about any of these components please raise the flag so that i can explain about more about these term the net and everything otherwise i will you know go with such kind of uh okay amar is raising the hand sure amar so amar what happened is like when any of the request is coming okay this request will come through the public ip there are two type of ip public ip and private ip private ip is non routable ip non routable ip non routable means it cannot go to the internet directly so we must have a public ip always to interact over the internet that is what i am saying that there should be one public ip so it means when you do ns lookup okay or that i will say domain lookup for your website xyz.com it should lead to an ip 1.1.1.1 which is putting where on your firewall in this case okay if i will talk about this infra what i am explaining so it is on your firewall then firewall will do what fire will firewall will say that okay i am receiving the traffic on 1.1.1.1 from the client it should go to the local traffic manager or ltm let us say ltm has some private ip 192.168.1.1 it will transfer this traffic to 192.168.1.1 and in turn let us say this server have the ip 10101010102101010103 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, ltm will send this traffic to the servers and vice versa your response will be also going by that way don't worry if you don't understand we will explain about it in uh, more detail probably i uh, pick the pace uh, before you uh, know beforehand but it's all right so any doubt to anybody please ask otherwise let me proceed up with some of the more uh, you know components abhishek you have some doubt yeah i have doubt actually here go ahead now yeah yeah this website uh, xyz.com uh, will uh, mapped with 1.1 which is configured in the firewall interface that will be get resolved or it will be the ltm connected interface no no it's not ltm because ltm if you see ltm again have the private ip okay okay, okay. in this case we are putting it over the firewall like firewall will do the destination net it is known as destination net okay, okay. so it's okay. the it's the firewall which will take the traffic first because before putting the traffic on the ltm we need to check either request which is the request which is coming it should not have layer 4 attack it should not have you know such of the attacks so for the same we will put firewall before the ltm okay, okay. 
got this point so that is yeah, yeah. Yeah. even let me tell you okay those who are aware that is good those who are not aware it's all right even we have more solution like we can have ips we can have ids we can have arbor solution these solution are for your dos and ddos attacks dedicatedly for that some more wrap layer can be there okay there can be n number of layers depending upon the security of your application if you are running with let us say with the banking system they require a very good you know a security for that they will put all sort of component all sort of layers which are required for the secure their application they cannot afford any kind of attack so that is how but we can't, we can't talk about the attacks currently we are just talking about the you know uh, adc part uh, so, let's sir i have one question go ahead sir deep here uh, so you know by going the experience you know i mean as, as per your experience uh, have you seen rtm being used anywhere else apart from the you know uh, being used as an you uh, know uh, i mean uh, before i mean <clears throat> uh, only for the application delivery or uh, we can use rtm anywhere else anywhere where i mean like uh, <clears throat> i'm just asking you if you have seen uh, being used anywhere else other than you know being used as a load balancer uh, i i am not getting actually your question what you wanted to ask if you have some scenario please go with the scenario uh, i will I, actually you know i think i have a, a seen somewhere as you know rtm was being used before the router you know uh, for any you know be. site it can, <laughs> it can be see let us say yeah. let us say you wanted to uh, <clears throat> the, the proxy traffic put oh, the yeah, rtm yeah. Here. put the rtm here Are okay yeah 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 so it depends what kind of application you want to protect okay yes, okay it it can be the case so it's not only the server we can put you know ah, behind the ldm we can put anything else. even you can uh, load balance the route, routing part also if you have lot of routers okay. as the entry point no yeah, yeah. that's what so i'm asking yeah. yeah yeah you can it can be it can be okay. thank you okay anybody else has any other doubt Abhishek, I can see that you are unmuting yourself, but I am not able to hear you if you are speaking something. Okay, it's okay. Let me proceed up, guys. So that is your F5 LTM ADC. I hope everybody is on the same page. Let me go with next uh, slide. Here, if you will see, we are just talking about that. Okay. what is the agenda in agenda uh, like introduction we will be gonna cover up with if i just about yes i have a question sir uh, before uh, the scenario uh, if we are not using a firewall in this scenario uh, we are only use a ltm then uh, the all uh, things are work properly why not let me give you that see yeah in this Let scenario wait yeah. wait for a moment wait for a moment let me okay make it there and let me tell you let us say all of the users are using the intranet portal or the portal of your website okay they are directly where they are into your lan only they are your lan why to put firewall just put f5 and then whatever your server say yeah like they are already in a secured network inside the organization right so we do not require any internal firewall sorry sorry your voice is very low who is speaking rohit yeah, yeah rohit this idea yeah, yeah. so I rohit your say... voice is your voice is very low can you please come closer to the mic yeah yeah just give me a moment sure sir in a uh, van environment mm -hmm. if uh, apart from this uh, if we are using a van environment mm -hmm. so uh, if we not using a firewall 
Mm -hmm. right. uh, then is enough for this? Why not? Why not? I was just explaining you about one of the you know standard solution. We do not require a firewall for it's, it. It's all right. It's perfectly fine. Although it should be okay if you have the internet traffic. If you don't have, then perfectly fine. Okay, Rohit, you were asking something. Can you ask? You are on mute if you are speaking something. Yeah, no, I I was just uh, trying to consolidate here. If we are already in a you know protected network inside the land. Then mm -hmm. we do not require, uh, you know, extra layer but of obvious, security. But obvious, we don't require. Yeah, 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 exactly. That is true. Okay. Okay. So we will we will talk about these topics later on. Let us come over here for talking about the agenda. So in the trend, if you will see, okay, it will increase your efficiency, peak peak performance, and. Uh, one of you is aware about this topic, TCP Express. Can somebody talk about it? I will not take the name, but I am expecting this answer from one person. I have never heard this one, TCP Express. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> yes, same here. Is it like TCP three-way handshake, something like that? No, no, no. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe no. It's okay. Everybody of you are aware about TCP, right? Yes. yes. So maximum of application are using what? TCP traffic. TCP, as you are saying, three-way handshake, thin, thin act, and act. Everybody is aware about that part of it. I am not talking about this. I am talking about TCP Express. See, what happened is F5 did a lot of work. Okay. Where before launching their product into the market, there was a lot of load balancer existing, right? Radware and lot of lot of companies was there earlier those days. So how come F5 come and uh, come in the market and beat other products? They provided some of the features. Okay. Like one of the feature I am explaining you about the TCP Express. What the TCP Express is, F5 uses its own TCP IP stack. Combine all the cutting edge techniques and improve in the original RFC of the TCP to give a numerous improvements and extensions, which is purely proprietized uh, by F5 only. And they claim that the product, the other product, let us say router, let us say the firewall, let us say any of the other product, okay? Their TCP speed and F5 TCP speed is different, even more than 5%. So that is how one claim they are sending. And even they have proposed a lot of TCP IP improvement as an open standard to the original RFC of the TCP IP. Now, let me ask one question from you guys. Who in the class not aware about RFC? Please ask. I will explain about it. Sir, please explain. So, Abhishek, before any of the protocol, okay, let us say if you are aware about RIP, yes, OSTF, BGP, okay, uh, OMP, or any any protocol you see, okay, VXLAN or any protocol you see, there is lot of research which happened. After that, some document need to be sent with each and every proof, and it is named as a request for control or something. Okay, the full form is. There is an RFC which get released, and these RFC has a bit like your white papers, maybe you can say, which have lot of lot of detailing about that protocol only. So TCP IP who generate the, the person who generated the TCP IP, they people have some RFC, right? So in even in their original RFC, they people uh, FI people made a uh, changes. Okay, request for comment summary. Okay, thank you. So that is how the, your RFC, even, even in RFC, they made the changes. Okay. So, 
let's proceed up so one thing i talked about is uh, tcp express so they are having something tcp express second thing their product is full proxy where i will apply a sar okay which means by default it is but not for i will explain about it maybe later into the classes in which case it can't be the full proxy but for now you can say that okay it is a full proxy now you can ask what the proxy is you can ask what the reverse proxy what is uh, forward proxy and what is full proxy what is the difference and even if big ip is the full proxy how does it benefit here how they are claiming that it is good so let me provide a very quick overview about the same okay let me talk about the full uh, sorry forward proxy first anybody would like to talk about forward proxy anyone so i will just explain in a very layman term okay let us say clients are there and you need to send this traffic over the internet you don't want to reveal the original identity of these clients you will put a device over here probably a firewall or maybe a proxy okay this proxy is named as forward proxy so every traffic will be intercepted by this and any client which is going on request will be out with this public ip whatever public ip you have in this uh, uh, proxy which is you know there second thing okay give me a minute please second thing reverse proxy reverse proxy is bit like your forward proxy only okay you will feel like that okay it is the same but only difference is when traffic is coming into your data center and you have something to uh, like secure like server you will put a proxy over here that okay you send the traffic to me i will send to my uh, domain this is something named as reverse proxy when i am talking about full proxy when i am saying something is full proxy it means which act as forward proxy plus reverse proxy which act as both forward proxy and reverse proxy is named as full proxy i hope this thing is clear to you now let me tell you how it happens there is a client there is a server if tcp communication need to be happen tcp communication will be same in act and act let us say this is these are not local there are some communication need to be happen there should be some routing or switching in between even though if communication need to be happen it will happen like in in act act no matter how many devices you have such kind of design is named as packet based architecture whereas maybe let me change this a little bit and build over here if i have f5 in between traffic will get divided into two parts sin sin act so end point is who end point is f5 forward proxy then it is securing your back end also sin sin act again if i will initiate uh, uh like traffic which will end to the back end server now your communication has divided into two parts that is how your fi works first you understand uh, do let me know 
are you understanding about this concept now how fi works by default then i will let you know like what is the benefit of it any doubt in this case uh, yes i have a question sir go ahead uh, so this is the features of f5 ltm hmm. yeah then why we are using a z scaler proxy devices why we use uh, in our environment this See, kind of fi uh, fi ltm is providing this feature okay but it is not completely replacing the proxy at all you can have more than one device which act as a proxy or full proxy let us say i have f5 let us say i have firewall firewall can also act as a proxy forward proxy or the reverse proxy or maybe the uh, full proxy let us say if i have a pole also okay do not get confused that only one device would be there in data center there can be any let us say we have polo polo will also act as a full proxy f5 is also acting as a full proxy so when i am saying full proxy it doesn't mean that f5 will replace every device i am just talking about the feature of f5 okay abhishek uh, so in this case sorry for interrupting uh, so f5 which you have shown the flow it is a full proxy uh, am i right so uh, basically when the client initiates so means the sync again f5 also send the sync packet to the destination you mean to say the client to the uh, backend server that's true f5 will initiate the traffic again on the behalf of client and whatever request will come it uh, it will forward that request to the server similarly server will respond to f5 and f5 will respond to the client and by so that, by the okay, okay. client is not aware about the actual server for client the server is f5 so basically you mean to say uh, like it uh, takes two times sync packet two times cnac and then two times acknowledgement this is what is the full proxy uh, uh. right right don't worry in the classes i will show this flow through the wire sir i will pick a packet open it in front of you will show you how it work even other packets also where f5 will not act as a full proxy i will pick those packet open those packet and will show you how it works uh, okay uh, i have one more question since here we are it's like f5 is a full proxy suppose f5 Uh, the client is uh, initiating the sync packet, but F five is resetting. It's not getting the sync packet to the from the client. Then, in this case, how we can troubleshoot if, whether it's from the F five or it's from the client? When it comes to the troubleshooting, okay. Although this question is very earlier question you are asking, but it's all right. I should answer you. When it comes to the troubleshooting. it is not a button like switch on and switch off troubleshooting is an approach to build up that approach you should be having proper technology level technology level info you should be having the information about the packet level if both of these things is clear to you probably that approach you will follow and you can answer on this point but because you want to listen about tcp dump let me tell you we will cover the tcp dump also is it okay yeah you can continue yeah it's okay but not just i was asking actually jurdik it's, it's okay we will talk about we will talk about everything tcp dump wireshark all of those things Okay. Sure. <clears throat> okay. We were talking about the TMOS. Uh, no TMOS. I didn't start it yet. Yeah. Okay. Let me talk about one more thing. TMOS. So every device, like routers, which is firewall, anything, they are built upon Linux Unix thing. Okay. 
Similarly, F5 also, original OS, if you will talk about Linux Unix only. And on the top of that, they build their operating system named as TMOS, okay, traffic management operating system. So this TMOS, when you will work, you will feel like bit like your Cisco, Juniper, other operating systems, you will feel like the same. That TMOS is also the same way which is behaving. In TMOS, we will see a lot of things we can configure through the CLI also. But again, I cannot, you know, uh, give you the glimpse or uh, the detailing about the CLI in the very first class. It's all like, right. let's proceed further. Okay. If you see here, give me a minute. So if you see here, okay, when we are talking about F5 LTM, F5 LTM increasing your performance like your TCP IP express, it is securing your SSL with your SSL offloading, okay, SSL bridging, or there are some profile section we need to cover. So we will talk about SSL section over there that how SSL is important. But let me give you a glimpse about it. Probably you can able to understand what the SSL is and how it would be helpful. So those who are aware that is good. Those who are not SSL is the legacy version. Current version is TLS even greater than 1.2. Okay. What are those? We will be covering the classes. Don't worry. It is bit like you cannot go with the http http is the open text anybody who is using http somebody can come in between and can read about your pi personal information or the critical information i will say so for saving that we will be having something named as https s stands for the security for this we should be have certificate those who are not aware, it's all right. We will cover it into our SSL classes. But currently, I am just giving you the glimpse. So try to understand. Let us say we are securing 100 of the servers. 100 of the servers. Okay. If request is coming in the HTTPS directly to the server, server will decrypt it. Server will encrypt again when sending the response back to the client so this is your request at the request time server will do the decryption at the time of response it will again do the encryption because the request it need to decrypt to serve the content right but see how much resource i am just showing you one client there can be thousand and thousand of clients so let us say if there are more and more clients how many resources our servers will get utilized? In that case, what should be the case? Uh, what should be the F5 behavior? How it would be helpful? What F5 says? F5 says, I am offloading your work. Okay. Any request which is coming over the internet, it should be secure. So let it be HTTPS because F5 and your servers are in the same data center. Within my data center, man uh, in middle attack would be lesser chances to happen. So let it be open. It means I will do the encryption and decryption. When I am sending it to the server, it will be in the open text. Server can just do its job of serving the content, but need not to do the encryption and decryption. So that part get offloaded. And somehow this term is named as SSL offloading. Okay. So your F5 will do that thing. And why it is able to do that? Because it is a full proxy. One thing. Okay. Getting this point, guys? Yes or no? If you have any doubt, ask. Yes. Yes, just getting it. Okay. Let's proceed further. Second thing, they are selling their product with the name of IDO really a very good feature really a very good feature thing is if you have a router if you have a firewall 
if you have any of the device, let us say any device, any vendor, every device have their default features or default behavior, I will say. Okay. And within that behavior, it will get work. So if user is saying, no, I want to have an additional functionality as per me, as per my requirement. Cisco or maybe any other vendor will say, see, this is my product is. If you want such kind of things, probably you buy some another product. Okay. They will give their another product. Okay. They have maybe their different, different products and they will fulfill the request. But again, some another product need to be have. So some users have some kind, some sort of condition. Some users have some sort of condition to resolve this issue. How FI will, uh, you know, how FI beat in other product or other technologies into the market, they say we have a set of, uh, you know, a specified behavior. Okay, agree. Let us say you have some requirement. If you have some requirement, I am giving you a feature. A feature. That feature name is iRoll. That is nothing but some sort of scripting on the basis of a language named as PCL, total command language, command line language, okay. So what they say, you write down your script and my FI will behave whatever your condition is. Let us say, a very small example I am giving. Let us say, Facebook is saying, my user are using only HTTP. I don't want to break their traffic. What I want, when they come up with HTTP, it should automatically redirect it to HTTPS. Let them it in be their favorite section of the browser. I don't want to make changes over there. Let it be. But when users are coming, it should be redirected. Now for the redirection, you cannot apply a feature on your uh, box that, okay, okay, let me come up with this feature. Then second requirement, okay, okay, let me upgrade my box with this feature. No, here I rule can get configured and we can achieve lot and lot of such functionality which meet our conditions. Very powerful feature, very powerful feature. But obvious, this is programmability, okay? And one, the one who is using it should be aware about the syntax of the TCL. Okay. Again, this is embedded into the box. You need not to install anything explicitly, but F5 is event driven scripting language you can use with your programmability and you can make changes into the default behavior. Any doubt in this from anybody? Please tell me. We, we will be going to talk about it in detail, don't worry. But currently, I am just giving you the glimpse. Any doubt, guys? No? Okay. Sure. Let me finish. So, I will be talk about SSL. I gave you uh, some overview. Performance, I talked about the TCP optimization like TCP Express. Uh, okay. Let me talk about it, uh, although it is literally very, uh, you know, earlier, but it's okay. Right. When we need to deploy the F5 unit, we need to be aware these migration, how these migration need to be done. It can be done by two. One is one arm which is also named as single arm. Second is double arm or also known as inline. Okay. How it happens is or how uh, we can, what should we, what should we use and uh, why should we use? Probably I need to come on these topics later on. Once I will be explaining you about the uh, self IPs, about the VLANs, all of those things. So currently, please exclude this, uh, you know, this slide. But if someone has any question on it, I can answer surely. 
you can ask if somebody has some doubt. Otherwise, I am excluding this slide. This is bit earlier. No? Okay. Let's talk about some of the flow. Okay. I'm just giving you the flow example. Probably you can able to understand user is logging into one website, any website like www.netpinion.net. It will get resolved to 216.34.16.17, which is nothing but a virtual server on your F5. So my request over the internet going to the F5. F5 will see that, okay, this request is coming. Let this request forward it to the backend server and F5 will do the destination netting and it will forward this request to the backend server. Now try to understand the packets. This will be the source. You can see. So, after colon is the port number, and you should be aware that whenever some client is generating a request with port number, these are named as higher port address. Okay, which is not probably well known or maybe uh, reserved port addresses. Okay, so these port address your client will use. So it can use any of the random port. In our case, it is 3154. At the destination, virtual server should have a defined uh, port number. In our case, it is 80. So it is 80. So this is your source and destination. See, first packet, where to where it is going. That is what I was saying in the full proxy. That client is only aware about F5, not about the backend server. Then F5 will generate a request to the backend server. Second time, source is same in this case. Okay, and there is again a star, star, star. Those people who are aware about a couple of the things, please uh, keep on waiting. Okay, I am not uh, explained about the SNET yet. Probably you are also right at your place, but this slide is very much okay. Okay, exception is the port number. Port number will not change. Port number would be 3154. So that source will send to the backend server. Then backend server will forward the traffic to the F5. F5 will forward this packet to the client. That is how end-to-end -end communication will happen. Any doubt in this? Please ask. So you are saying that you know the, the source IP and port uh, address will not get changed between the F5 and the server. I am applying a star also. Okay. So here, okay, okay, yeah, got it. Here, yes. Yeah, here. okay. Okay, got it. Sure. Because see, what happened is in F5, there is a lot of things which will keep on changing. So, by default, this is true, but it is not always true. We will change it, we will change this behavior. Okay. And maximum time, the behavior will be get changed. It's all right. So if you don't have any doubt in this, let me give you a glimpse of the lab also. Okay? Because I need to explain you about it. Everybody of you, okay, whosoever is uh, registering with us will get the same lab. You need to create your own lab by your own. I will tell you how this lab need to be set up. I will give you initial workbook also, like what kind of VLAN you need to use. What are these devices? How you, uh, how, what kind of NICs you need to use? Everything I will provide. But currently, I am providing you the glimpse that we have three application servers. You can see these three servers. These are nothing Linux based application server. Okay. If you see this PC, this PC will act as two, uh, it will act as two, uh, like work, I will say. One is for the management. It will carry the management traffic and it will carry, it will act as a external user also or external PC. Logically, how traffic will happen? Traffic will go to the, uh, like this L3 switch. From L3 switch, it will go to the LTM. From LTM, it will go to the switch again and then it will go to the backend. From backend, it will go again to this device to F5 
from F5 over here and to the switch. You might find like why these four ports are. Don't worry. I will gonna explain about the VLANs. I will I will explain about these all of these four ports at that time. Okay. Then there are two devices. Why so? Because I need to explain about HA also. High availability. In that case, I will make active active standby of feature or maybe a lot of things we will be gonna discuss at that time. So I need two devices for the same. Then you will ask, okay, what about the license? License are the free to uh, get from the FI device. I will gonna explain about those things also. Even I will show you in the lab as well. You need not to pay any single penny for the licensing part later on. Okay, so nothing need to be done. So this is how our lab setup is. You will get this lab 24 by 7 accessible. You access it as per your time. No extra charges, whatever registration fees is, it is included into that as a complementary part. Okay, and everyone have their own version of the lab. It means if Abhishek is doing that lab, it doesn't mean that it will be get impacted on the Amar lab or on the RAM lab, no. So whosoever is using, they are using their own lab. It is a bit like from the scratch you need to do. So you can able to learn a lot of things over here, not the theoretically, but in the practical manner also. If about the topics I will talk about, okay. So even though you can download this from the uh, our website also, uh, let me show you. Those who are aware, well and good. Those who are not, go to the netminion.net. Okay. Go to the netminion.net. After there, you can go to the courses. You can go to the FI LTM. Okay. You can join the groups also if you wanted to join. Then scroll down. You just click on download now. And you can download this syllabus from there. So it's not the case that okay, we will be gonna change this syllabus later on. We are showing something else and uh, teaching something else. So just from the scratch installation, we will start talking about load balancing, talking about monitors, talking about virtual server types, persistence, SSL, netting, as netting, I rules, high availability, maintaining big IP and troubleshooting as well okay so all of these things we will be gonna cover in our section and believe me when you are once you are doing it it is not sufficient only for your certification but it is sufficient to migrate if you are if you have some upcoming migrations if you have some upcoming certif uh, like certification it would be useful if you have some interviews it will be useful okay it will beat all of these purposes fulfill i will say all of these purposes yes uh, so Radesha, you know by completing this course we will be able to you uh, know i mean clear the uh, uh, 101 201 uh, exam right i mean we should be true true okay although you need to put some more extra effort yeah yeah that's i can stand okay. yeah but yes even 301 as well okay now, oh, these yeah. classes, yeah, Ram, go ahead. Yeah, any, any topic you covered on the CLI mode? Yes, why not? Without CLI, okay. you cannot run the TCP dump even. Okay. When I was talking about TCP dump, TCP dump is not uh, GUI part. It is uh, CLI only, right? Okay. Oh, even yeah. if you need to uh, show the packet behavior, how you mm. can able to understand? You cannot able to understand without going into the CLI. So yes, your short answer is yes. We will be gonna cover the CLI for sure. Even if I need to show you, if I need to show you about the partitioning, yeah, about the big IP cone uh, file, licensing file, how I can show you without the CLI? I cannot be able to show you. So I need to talk okay. about CLI. I need to teach you also about the CLI so that you can do, uh, you know, uh, some uh, some of the critical parts through the CLM. Even let me tell, automation can be also in, induced. Okay, 
automation can also be induced through the CLI. If you people wanted to know more about it, uh, you can please go to the blog next minion. Okay. Here you will get even all of the things in the blog itself. Okay, you can you can go and yeah. Also, if you wanted to see more videos about uh, you know, uh, rather than LTM, you wanted to go with the ACI, CCI, or whatever, I will say, you please go to the YouTube, just go to the NetMinion, and here you can see that there is lot of lot of playlists, even with the VMware, multicast, CCI security, MPLS, VPN. Lot of lot of things are there. Okay, probably more than 200, 300 videos are there. Go there and read about it. 31 videos about the F5. Okay, you can just go and surf more about it. Okay, SD WAN, ACI, anything, any technology. Okay. 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 So can now, you uh, give me uh, explanation about the certification part also? What to be the pre-request? Anything? Is there? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. This, is, this, yeah. Is the, this is the part of our slide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me share. Here. See, this is yeah, the part. This is the part. Starting with 101, where you will get an email that, okay, you passed the certification. Then, once you have 101, you need to go with 201, where you will be a CA, certified administrator. Then, 301, what I was talking about. 302 is GTM. GTM is the old name. Okay. New name is DNS. Then ASM. Now the company is promoting this product as advanced. Well, then APM, then maybe some further expert level. So that is how the part is. Right? So we cannot we cannot write the exam directly to three. In that one? No, no, no. So you need to clear 101201. Post okay. That. Post that. Probably you can go with 301, 303, 304, whatever you feel. But okay. those two are the mandatory ones. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Okay, guys. So I was talking about the classes would be on Saturday and Sunday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. IST, two hours. Okay. And why on Saturday, Sunday? Because everybody who is teaching in NetMinion are the working professional. Even I am also working as a solution architect, having more than 15 years of experience. So when I will teach, I will share, you know, a lot of uh, scenarios related to the production also. Okay, troubleshooting skills again. Okay, those kind of approach probably I would share with you. So it would be on Saturday and Sunday because we are India based. So weekends are Saturday, Sunday. We will be continue with 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. IST. Prime time, you can have uh, spend all of the weekend uh, with your family. And in the evening, you can take two hours plus. Okay. Total, if you will ask how many hours, approximately 20, 22 plus hours plus which is a bit like six weeks, six weeks 1.5 months, okay, that would be the duration. Okay, regarding the fees, NetMina will tell you, they will guide you better, okay. And I would also request you please uh, share your number, maybe Joya is contacting with you for getting the number. Those who are new, please share your number so that she can, you know, uh, give you all of the details, whatever you require later on, non-technical details. Apart from it, we will be uh, giving you the recorded session. We will be giving you this lab session. Okay, all of these things you will be getting as a compliment. So that is all for today, I will say. Okay, we will meet you tomorrow. Those who are registered one. Any other question, any other query, I am happy to answer. Please ask. Yeah, can you show me some documents which you will provide for us? Don't worry, there is study guide, there are a lot of documents. Okay, okay. you will get those documents. Okay, okay. 